like, what in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. Hey, this is Jason with Denworks. Got something pretty cool here. It's a uh, 1968 Mustang. Uh, it's a J-Code, which is a factory four barrel. And uh, very cool, 302 car. I like these Mustangs a lot, and I've had a few of them on uh, bring a trailer here. So we'll walk around it and uh, give you a good look at it and uh, talk about different components and you know just condition and, uh, and stuff in general. So I'll walk around here in the, uh, the front and we'll just look at the uh, the nose. One thing you'll notice right here on the front, it has a uh, different kind of hood on it. This is a uh, 67 Shelby uh, style hood. I can't call it a Shelby hood because the Shelby's kind of came out a little farther, but uh, that hood scoop is probably one of the best looking hood scoops that Ford ever put on a car and, uh, and Shelby did it and uh, they look great and it's got, uh, you know, signature hood pins and stuff and uh, but it's pretty cool. You'll see here it's got uh, factory fog lamps and uh, all those work and uh, we'll show you here in a minute. If you look down the side of the car, you can see it's got a C-stripe on it and uh, I like those on these cars a lot. They just look good. But if you look down the car, it looks actually pretty straight. Um, it's painted, uh, I believe it's Wimbledon white. If you look at the, the code and stuff, it says special paint. So I'm not 100% for sure what that was and uh, they don't have a code for what the car was originally painted but um, I've looked all over the car and I think it's always been kind of a white color but it looks like Wimbledon uh, white to me and uh, go ahead and turn the key on and stuff and we'll uh, go ahead and show you the lights working We've got headlights and we had marker lights a minute ago I just didn't say it and we got bright lights got the bright lights we got our fog lamps and uh, go ahead and show us the blinkers. Oh, we got the left-hand side there. Now we got the right-hand side. I always get myself confused. I had to think there for a minute because I got to think what's on my left and what's on my right. And uh, so go ahead and shut the lights off there. And uh, you can see here it's got a Magnum 500 wheel. And uh, there's two different styles of Magnum 500s. There's a painted version, which this is with the trim ring, and then there's a full chrome one. And uh, these look great on the car. It's got BFGs on it all the way around. It's got 235, uh, 60, 14s in the front, and uh, P235, or P245, uh, 60, 50, or 14s in the back. So they're just a little bit uh, bigger in the back, just staggered just a little bit. But if you look at the body, I mean, it looks great. This is not a GT but it is a J-code car, so the uh, base model, um, like even the GT350 Shelby's were J-code, so it was the 302 uh, factory four barrel uh, V8, so it's the same exact uh, de designation that a Shelby would have. And by the way, I'm not saying it's a Shelby, or, um, but it, it does have the GT uh, motor. And it's kind of interesting because they ordered a lot of the things that you would have on a GT on this car, like disc brakes and, um, and the J-code. So someone, uh, you know, turned it into a GT a long time ago, and uh, but I, it looks great. It's a good idea. And if you look here, this is a you know spot you're just looking at. There's some little imperfections of the paint. You know, it's it's a really nice driver, and uh, you can see here there's a little chip, but no bubbles or anything uh, in the bottom of the doors or the fenders on this side. They look great. If you look here in the rocker, again, really nice. Uh, looking there in the bottom around the wheel lip you can see a little uh, ding right there we've been driving it around so that's just some dust you can see here but one thing you, you can see here on the paint there's some little imperfections in the paint on the quarter panel here and I'm not sure exactly why but if you look right there you can kind of see it there's some little tiny I don't know little, little tiny blisters and you kind of got to look close at it and uh, we'll look down the side here in the back We'll flip it around here in a minute and uh but it looks nice and and uh, straight down the sides and again there's no bubbles or anything here and uh behind the wheel well so 
looks really really clean one thing i'll just mention here around the top the vinyl top looks really really nice and uh you can see some little paint flaking here and uh more so on the other side but it's just some little tiny tiny things below this piece of trim and i've had this trim off and and everything looks really good you can see here the on top of the the roof here again really nice no bubbles and uh looks really clean so we'll flip it around here and uh, let you get another look. Okay, here we are on the uh, passenger side. We'll uh, take a look at her. You know, she looks really good. I love the taillight panel on this car. This is actually a uh, factory taillight panel um, that you could buy over the counter from Ford. And uh, so it's actually a finned, fin panel, and that's actually really cool. And uh, that's not a reproduction one. They actually make some reproduction ones. I think you can, I think you still got to pay three to 400, but uh, for a reproduction, but that is an original one. And uh, they run between 800 to a thousand bucks. So you don't see those that often. And there's two different styles too. There's one for a fastback and one for a, a coupe, a fastback. Um, doesn't you know jump up right here and uh, so this is specific for convertibles and uh and coupes so anyways you can look across the back here it's got the uh gt valance on it but it um it uh you know with the cutouts but it doesn't have the dual exhaust tips you could put them on there if you wanted but and uh so um that plate there as well that's just there i put it for fun and uh, if you were at a car dealership in 1968, went on a little test drive, that's what they would have. And so I thought it was fitting to put on there. And uh, so anyways, we'll go ahead and uh, check the lights out and uh, turn the key on here. And uh, we'll see here we got uh, tail lights. You can see they came on, then you got brake lights. And we got turn signals. Turn signals, yeah, we got left. And we got right, and uh, we even got the reverse lights working. You see they're working, and uh, even underneath here, you can see the uh, license plate is working. So that's that's nice. So we'll uh, look at just different little things about it. You can see some little tiny little scratches and stuff on the on the trim, and uh, some little tiny, you know, little tiny chips. You can see here with the light a little bit better. Little tiny cracking right there. Uh, nothing big. You can see a little chip right there. We'll look here across the other side. You can see some little tiny bubbles right here at the bottom of the trim. Again, I've had that trim off, and uh, you can see some chipping right there. Again, it's it's really solid around the rear window and uh, looks good. You look down the side. Again, very straight and uh, looks nice. You know, in '68, all cars started to have uh, marker lights or uh, reflectors on the side. So in 67s you don't see that and you'll see them on the front too and uh right here on this on this quarter panel again this is just dirty right here from driving but you'll see some little bubbles there at the bottom of this quarter the rest of the quarter looks nice you know the wheel lip moldings look good and uh if you look down here at the bottom of the rocker again it's it's in really good shape and uh the wheels look really good too no other bubbles around the wheel lip or anything like that and there's no bubbles at the bottom of the the uh, vinyl top there's a couple little bubbles right here at the corner of this door that i just wanted to mention and uh the rest of it looks pretty good you'll see some little tiny minor chips there's a couple little chip there on the door but overall it looks great i mentioned earlier in, in the auction you can see some just here on the cowl, you'll see some little, it's like a little paint reaction happen or something like that. So I think down the road, if you painted the cowl, again, you can, uh, it would look a little better. You just notice that more under lights are just getting on it right, but you can see there, it's kind of just some imperfection going on right here on the cowl. So I uh, just wanted to point that out for you. So anyways, we'll uh, take, a, some, take a look at uh, some more of it.
Okay, here we'll uh, take a look at the, the interior. I just wanted to show you that the door locks do work on it. And the uh, other thing is that how nice the door shut. I mean, it actually is a pretty tidy little car in uh, general. And uh, just looking here, it's got uh, deluxe interior. And it, it, it started life really as um, it had uh, just standard interior. But I really like this deluxe interior. I like the wood grain on it. And uh, it looks good. And it's got a little leather wrap around here. I, I don't think it's probably real leather and I haven't taken it off before but if you look across here the wood grain it looks nice. I think I showed before in a video but you can see Carol Shelby signed across it. I found that out when I was driving it uh, home and if I if I got redundant uh, talking about it uh, in another part of the video sorry about that. Um, you can see here the wood grain. I wanted to redo the wood grain across the dash and uh, you can see it kind of flaking and bubbling up just a little bit but I didn't want to do it because of that signature over there and uh wanted it to match so you can see here it's got disc brakes as well which uh really really is nice you can see it's got the pony floor mats in it and the uh the deluxe interior and the back seats are real nice too and it's got the deluxe seat belts as well and uh you can see here on the the door tag here it matches the uh, VIN 8R01J and uh, it matches the VIN on the fenders and on the dash. You look inside the door jams and stuff looks really nice I don't see any signs of accidents or, or rust you can see up here you know no no impacts I mean it looks looks nice and um, if you look uh, here in the engine compartment, I was just talking about the, the disc brakes. You can see it's got power disc brakes with the uh, dual reservoir uh, on it. But um, I'll go ahead and show you the headliner real fast. Headliner's really nice. You can see it's got the, the upper console as well. And uh, we'll go ahead and roll up the window so you can see those working. I'll go ahead and do the back one here, the quarter window. You know, this is a true hard top because there's no pillar right here you'll hear people talk about a hard top and and a two-door sedan um, or a post car a post would have a post right here that's a C pillar and if it had a post here that'd be a B pillar and your A pillar is right here but um, you can see that quarter window rolled up nice kind of hard to do that with one hand but you can see this one here rolls up and down nice as well and you can see over there, there's Sheldon's going to open that one for us. You know, nice and smooth. We'll look at the quarter. You know, nice condition. You can see the door panels. Again, these are deluxe door panels. And uh, they look in excellent shape. You can see here the little wood grain's missing right there. You can see some little checking and stuff on the chrome. And you'll notice that, you know, on the mirror here, everything's not real, real perfect. But those are easy things you can change uh, down the road. And uh, we'll uh, pop around here and look at the other side. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the passenger side here. Again, the doors lock. And uh, so that's all functionable. Just wanted to show you some different stuff. Here, you know, sometimes in the photos we don't catch every little thing, so that's why it's important in the uh, the video to watch. I can actually see a little cut here that I missed right there on the console, and uh, you know these consoles are really hard to find, and uh, this one's in in actually fairly good shape. If you wanted to get a new piece here, you can actually get the the upper cover and this cover here. The console it's a it's kind of a three piece console. I mean, there's a lot more pieces than that, but this uh, kind of the cushion part uh, attaches to the to the base and uh, you look here in the glove box looks good look here around the uh, door jams and stuff actually look really good no rust or anything no accidents here 
we'll uh, show you the still photos of underneath the doors you know like underneath here you know they're not rusty and uh, look clean you can see the jam here looks in really nice shape so overall uh it looks good you know we put a new dash pad on it as well and uh just kind of a clean clean old car and uh looks nice Just taking a little quick trip in the uh, little Mustang here, and I just thought it'd be nice to drive it around. You can see all the gauges and stuff. I love uh, Oregon. If you look out there in the fields, we got a lot of grass fields and hazelnut fields, and, and stuff. It's just really beautiful, and I love living out here. So, anyways, we're just uh, cruising here, and I'll just show you some different stuff uh, about the rig. The first thing I want to show you real fast is if you look on the dash, it's got all the wood grain across the dash hold on a second got all the wood grain but the first time I ever drove it if you look right here on the dash you can see a signature it's Carol Shelby and uh, that was really a surprise because I um, I was driving home about 60 mile trip and I looked over there to the right and I was like oh my gosh Carol Shelby signed that but it had uh, faded and uh, so that was pretty cool so um, anyways, I'll just show you the brakes work and since we're coming up to a stop sign, you know, stops really nice and straight. It's got disc brakes and uh, doesn't pull to the right, doesn't pull to the left. And uh, it's really nice. It just makes a big difference with disc brakes. And this thing had uh, disc brakes from the factory. And uh, as we'd already talked about before, we talked a lot about the GT options and stuff that are on it. It's not a factory GT, but you can see it's got deluxe interior. So it's got the wood grain dash. It's also got the clock in the instrument cluster here and the clock isn't working our temp gauge and oil pressure gauge temp and oil aren't working up here but they've been uh they have stuart warner gauges down below there and you can see right now that the uh oil gauge is at 60 and uh temp is about 170 right now so it actually runs really cool and stuff um the uh you can see here it's got just the factory radio you can see right here on the uh the console here that it uh, came apart right there and uh, I don't know if that could be fixed or not but um, you can see here the uh, the um, uh, fuel gauge works you can see the uh, speedometer works miles say 63 57 uh, 5 so 63 575 you know assume it's rolled over I don't have any documentation to say that it's a, a, a 63,000 mile car or anything I don't know if you can hear this you can hear the heater on right now the heater fans on and uh, I'll show you here the wipers they work and uh, so anyways it's got a lot of nice things the the horn does work on both sides but if you push in the middle it's not working so um, and then your fog lamps are down here on the right so uh, a lot of cool things about it. It has a deluxe interior. You can see up here, hopefully you can see this on camera. It's got the upper console. You don't see those that often with the map lights. And uh, they do work. So um, we'll pull over here and uh, let you check some other stuff out. Yeah, we're gonna take a look underneath the hood here and uh, go ahead and pop the the pins. And uh, there's a little latch right there. And uh, you just lift it up there. Go ahead and start it up real fast. You know, it sounds great and uh, looks good underneath the hood. We did a lot of uh, detailing under, underneath here. It looked good before, but we just wanted to spruce it up a little bit and uh, you'll see pictures of the, the rockers. We put new valve covers on it, repainted the motor. The, the color was off a little bit. It wasn't the right kind of blue, so I'm kind of finicky that way. And I put uh, Cobra valve covers and air cleaner on it and uh, put a Monte Carlo bar, bar on it. You can see the strut power brace. 
that's not a stock one. It's actually connected up up there. Stock ones just kind of end right there with the two bolts. So uh, it just makes the front end a lot more stiffer. Go ahead and rev it up a little bit. You can hear it runs nice. And uh, it's got a, a Holly Avenger car and Edelbrock uh, intake on it and a Mallory ignition. And uh, you can see here up on the apron, it's really important to look here. There's no, uh, no accident damage or anything. It actually looks really clean. And I did pull, you know, it is a J code, which you can see the, the VIN number actually it's on the other side. You can see the VIN number there, but I did pull up the fenders, you know, on both of the fenders, and the VIN number is underneath here, and it's underneath on the other side. So 68, they started hiding them. At 67 and earlier, they had it stamped there, but um, overall, it just looks great. It's got awesome, the battery in it, and uh, very clean. You can see it's got power steering as well. So, um, again, it looks looks great. I mean, structure-wise, power looks in in really nice shape. You know, again, it's a it's just a really nice driver, and uh, and this will make someone real real happy down the road. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, take a look underneath the trunk here, and uh, just flip the the lid, and. Uh, Everything looks good. I'm not going to dismantle in here. Um, you can see all the, the pictures and stuff of it that I took. And uh, one thing to note is that uh, I've never seen a, a mat in here with that little pony emblem on. I thought that was kind of nice. You can see the back here. Everything looks looks in good shape. You look down there in the quarter. You know, it just looks all very clean. And... Uh, looks nice but you'll see the photos of the rest you can see here it's got the spare tire the jack is actually hidden down underneath there and uh but main thing here i, I just want to look at the jams and everything uh the gutters all look good you know i don't see any any damage or anything like that you look up underneath the uh, trunk lid it looks in great shape you don't see any um you know sometimes it'll get rusty right up here this looks looks really nice so um We'll move on to some other things. Hey, here we are underneath the little Mustang. We're still gonna do uh, all the uh, pictures and everything, still shots, but it's just nicer to do a video. I can point out different things and uh, you can just kind of get a different look at it. Uh, that way I can poke on things and, and general stuff. There's a lot of stuff going on underneath the car and uh, I'm not afraid to do a video on it. So. Uh, anyways, we'll just start here uh, from the front to the back. You can see the front apron. Inner apron looks really good. I don't see any damage or anything, any accident damage. Everything looks real clean. When I was talking about those VIN numbers earlier, right up underneath here is uh, where you'd see them. They'd be, be hidden there. But if you look at the shock, shock towers and stuff from the inside too, they look really good. You can see it's actually got a bigger, bigger sway bar on it as well car handles actually really good um, you can see the brake lines and stuff looking nice nice condition they're a little dirty right there but they are clean um, you can see here it's got a safety wire on the spindle there and uh, we're gonna hit all the zerk fittings too we haven't done that uh, yet but if you look at the engine it is a 302 um, I repainted it the I shouldn't say I did uh, our, our guys repainted the motor that's kind of the going joke in here that I do everything, but I actually don't do too much. Um, Cause that make a lot of noise, but uh, we wanted the engine to be uh, the correct blue. So that's what I did. And uh, even if they did a really nice job and they painted the wrong color, I'm gonna paint it uh, the, the right color. So you can see here, it, uh, the disc brakes on this side, everything looks good. It's got uh, new power steering up here, valve and uh, hoses right here and here and everything looks pretty clean and uh, looks like it's you know the boot looks good as well the torsion bar uh, bushings look really good too and uh, i didn't show you up here underneath the battery box 
they replaced that battery box. Um, that section, you can see a seam right up there. And uh, that was replaced. I forgot to mention that when we were looking at the engine in uh, general, but um, that battery box area was replaced. Just from rust, it's really common. You can see here the floors look in really nice shape. You can see the torque boxes, frame rails, extensions look, look really nice. You can see here the uh, rockers look in really nice shape. You can see a, uh, the drains are clear. Those probably save the rockers in this car. We can come around here and look at the other side. You know, the floors again look in nice, nice condition. Frame rails look good. You know, all the factory undercoating up underneath here. We'll go ahead and look at the rockers here on this side. They do look good. And I've taken these off so you know. And uh, underneath the rockers, there's not any rust or anything like that. And uh, they look, look fairly clean. Look at back here at the, the shocks. It's got classic Coney shocks. Those are older, older shocks, but actually pretty cool that they're on here. And uh, I don't know if they'll need to be replaced down the road. They seem to be working good. You can see here, this is a big culprit on these cars, the frame rails. Again, they look really good. I don't see any kinks. I don't see any rust spots or anything. They actually look, look very clean. Trunk drop off looks good on this side and the bottom of the quarter looks good. You can see the original spot welds on this, this side. Go ahead and take a look over here. Trunk drop off looks good. You know, spot welds look original as well, but um, we'll go ahead and look at this frame rail too. You know, again, it's not, not rusty. You know, I don't see any kinks or anything. They look, look nice. I just noticed while we were walking underneath here and I didn't catch it until I just caught a little little thing. I can see some little rivets right there. And what I'm suspecting, because I've never had the carpet out of here, there was probably some little, um, maybe some little pinholes maybe in the back of this floor. And they might've put a little piece of metal over the top and uh, riveted it in but i don't see any signs actually honestly that show that there was any any rust i see a little tiny i do see a little tiny pinhole right there but uh overall i probably wouldn't be too concerned about it they probably just did it to reinforce it so i just honestly i never really noticed that before and uh, until i just looked at it right and uh so we did service the tranny i can't remember if i said that already put a new uh, filter and and gasket on it but overall the car's in great shape the tires they look pretty good the wear on them uh, looks nice and even they are older I think they're probably maybe 15 years or, or so but I didn't really see anything on them where I was I was concerned but you know if you don't want to ride on older tires and you might want to replace those down the down the road and uh, but um, overall they look pretty good so anyways, I hope that helps. Uh, hopefully I can answer some questions uh, during the auction. You can email me or call me or, or just uh, mention in the comments. So anyways, hey, thank you. Take the, have a good day.